Hello guys, Susanna here. I thought I'd um, come here today and do something a little different besides my um, story in textiles. Um, as some of you know, I'm going to France and England next year and I'm staying with my brother for a couple of weeks. So I want to make him something. So I've been wanting to make this in, from this book, Stitch Memories by Tilly Rose. I think quite a few of you have got this book I've seen a, f a few reviews um, if you're really into slow stitching it's a brilliant book it's really good um, I my brother lives near the sea and I'm going to be staying with him for a couple of weeks so I'd like to make something for him and his wife and um, I thought I'd I'd make this so um, yeah and then on the bottom rather than having this from this book so I'm using a couple of books I don't think I've flipped through this one this is Tilda's Seaside Ideas I'll give you a quick flick if you like and I'm going to do these little um, I'm going to do these little whales I think they're adorable so and I've got the blue and white stripe fabric and I'm going to have hang a whale down there rather than all those little dangly bits um what else there's a really nice quilt there's a jellyfish some sea urchins i'll just give it a very quick flick i like this too she's holding the the um i've actually printed out that pattern um because i really like this the sewing the sailing jacket um so i've printed out the pattern and I'd like to make her with the sailing jacket and everything. I think it's really cute. So there you go. Just gorgeous colours. The beach, there's a shawl, a scarf to make, some flowers. It's a, one of her smaller books. Um, where are we? Icy pole. I mean, look at the size of the icy pole compared to the the doll but yeah this is sort of and then you get all the patterns so um and then you like you've got other ones like fairy tale winter ideas spring ideas so it's one of her smaller ones i've got the pattern that's a smaller one this is a medium one and that's a large one that's huge that big one so i thought i'd just gonna stick with that one so i've got that and this and so here's my bits and pieces you can't see all of it <laughs> but what I am uh, what you're going to do with this this is um, I find the quickest way of sewing um, something like this is I traced around it like I cut out and traced around it then I'm going to sew on the line and then cut out a quarter of an inch and I'll do the same leave these parts open and we're going to sew on the line and that's the wrong side so the right side's on the inside so I've just folded it over so that's something I will do a little bit later Put, I might even stick that in there as well so um, I got myself these to show you these um, I've got some of that um, she's got sailboat fabric so I have managed to get I've got some of that just here um, and I'm just sort of roughly laid out bits and pieces so what I'm going to do today is just sit and pin with you and just have a bit of a chat while I'm pinning and then I'm going to go on the sewing machine I'm going to sort of like roughly sew down and then I'm going to come back it looks like she's come back with like hand stitching and adding bits and pieces. Um, I've, I had bought a panel and it had about six of these. So as you can see, I've made it a bit smaller and there's some stuff there, but I didn't want it too big. And so this is just from my local quilt shop. I think they're an older, an older um, pattern. So if you just Google, you know, um, seaside scenes, in panels you might you know might find some so they're just really cute 
so I was thinking I want to make one for me as well and then there's I've got four more left and I wouldn't mind making them and then just putting them in my shop to sell but it's just something that I'll do over time um, right, because I've got all the all the bits and pieces so you start off with um, a piece of calico which I've got on the bottom oh here is also um, if you haven't got anything like that I was going I bought this a while back from um, a forage from Lisa Maddock and I um, I just thought you know a strip of that would be really cute like that see if you sort of replace that that's really quite sweet as well so I bought that in mind and she's also got um, one with just sailboats as well she's got these gorgeous fabrics so um, I might make one with that in there but at, um, I'm using a couple of little bits because um, what Tilly suggests in her book you know this happens to be already a tear in there so I'm just leaving it that you you know get your um, you know your quick unpick and yet yeah unpick some fabrics and then put um, paper she's got paper and stuff underneath um, so I might pick it pick unpick and then just put you know a couple of little of these little bits and pieces so what I was thinking just move these out of the way and keep it over here for inspiration Ugh. Okay, grab, I'll have to bring that down. I've taken a photo of it. So my bit of calico underneath is eight by 18 inches. So I've just roughly done it. Um, I think she might have, um, what has she got? Four, 30 by yeah, 11 by 19 inches. So 11 and three quarters by nine, 19 inches well mine's 18 down but mine's eight across because I wanted to match it with the piece of wood that I've got so I've got I had a couple extra ones these are actually real driftwood that I found at the sea but they were probably a little bit too small um, so I found this piece of wood outside um, you know cut it off so I think I think that's pretty good you have a little bit of wood to hang stuff so that's how I use the width so you don't always have to go exactly what they say so what I'm gonna do here okay even gotten little bits of um, this was from a doily I used the other half and I thought I like the blue so where are we I might grab this and put it underneath <laughs> Just so I know that I'm in camera. There we go. There. So I'll start from there. Got all my bits and pieces. So what I want to do. Oh, where did it go? Can't believe I lost a piece already. <laughs> that not that one, but the other one. That was underneath. Seriously. Okay. Where's that? Unbelievable. How can you lose that in just two seconds? Okay, hang ten. I'll be back and try and find it. Yeah, it was hidden right underneath there. It must have flicked in. Oh my goodness. Now keep this in camera. Okay. So what I'm going to do is um, this is sort of like an old doily type of thing. Um, so what I'm going to do with this I might even cut some of that off. Sides. and then just where, where are we line up here we go that looks 
looks a bit rod. Maybe a little higher. I thought because it's got a few boats in there, so I thought a a life jacket thingy. Maybe cut it a little bit more on the top. We don't want it needs to go a little higher. There we go. So rather than um, go okay oh this thing's got a hole we are going to work with it okay I might just put a little bit of hang it over a little bit yeah okay now I want to have more of that teared Head look than the, than the cut look. So, okay. Is it going underneath? There we go. Okay, and I was thinking, what else we got? that was gonna sit there like that so a couple of these so I'm sort of gonna scatter them Scatter them a little bit so you get your quick unpick. And you deliberately cut a hole. And you're going to put this little guy underneath that. Okay. Oop. Everything else I'm going to pin, but just for this, for the sake of sake of stuff. Hold that down. Maybe move that over a tad to the left. Goo. And with this, I might have that going down. Cute. Okay. Um, and that little guy will go down, go down somewhere else. Now, um, I quite like this. So that was going to go. I was thinking of sort of tucking that in. Here on a bit of an angle with a fold. Um, I might even grab half of it and use it for somewhere else. Okay. Because that's going to go like that. Um, now, I might gather that up a little bit and just sort of go on a bit of an angle. This one I could probably hand sew on. Just want texture at this point. Okay. 
um, I was going to do some of this. Now this is like a cheesecloth-y thing. Um, a cheesecloth to use on, um, what was it? Found it in the thrift shop. Advertising it to make plum puddings that you like when you, you know, make them. The only thing is, it does curl. It's a bit of a bugger. So we'll pull it open a little bit. Okay. And I wanted, I wanted some of that across here. But I wanted to keep um, so you couldn't, I might even put some of that there. Um, so that you, you know, I still wanted to see the seagull. So, and that sort of going, you know, folding it down in places. What I'm going to do is just go over with the sewing machine and just sort of going across. I'll even gather that in a little bit. You, know, you don't want anything straight. It's got to be gathered. Looking a bit skew if. Okay. Now I deliberately got this. It sort of looks a bit like the sky that I might hand sew on, but just going to stick that there for now. There we go. See, nothing goes to waste. Little bits of stuff. I might even just hand sew that on. So, and even this, this is a little bit that's going to be left over. I could probably put that a little bit lower. I was umming and ahhing whether I put a bit of that over in the corner there. But because we got that, I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to be putting buttons and bits and pieces. For, but for now, okay, that's what we're doing here. A minute, undo that and pull that over. There we go. Um, just going to do a bit of sewing. I might even um, sew along there just along the line to keep that sewn down. Um, so I was going to um, have that and I might have it at a bit of an angle. We don't want everything the same. Okay. And cut that. That was on um, one of the, I think that was this, this bit was on the panel of this. Okay. So, on a bit of an angle like that. Don't want too much of the bright colours. Just want maybe just the teals and the and then this guy was gonna go like that 
on the top but that's something that I could probably put on later I really like that because it sort of looks a bit like waves so that's going to be going um, on top and then I'm going to put that there yeah. so um, pin this down so these bits are just going to go flat and then you decorate it with the other stuff on the top Yep. And so I might to because I need a fair bit of this. Don't want to cover the um thinking. Oh yeah, some of that over there up the top. Um because I was going to do oh I forgot this, didn't I? That was up there. Aha. That was going to go underneath that. Oh, good grief. <laughs> Just when you get it perfect. Thought it needed it it needed a bit of blue. So that's going to go there. And I know that that's going to do a bit of a pop there. There we go. So, um, I can get some. that and then when I sew it I'll hold that down what if I'm gonna I quite like that it sort of goes over a little bit okay Okay, now we're talking. Okay, um, I'm going to go back up here and what I had in mind was I was going to, I was going to gather So I don't know whether I just sew and gather rather than trying to pin because that's a real pain. I think sewing and gathering is probably the way to go. I think so. so what I might do is I might um, I might pause for now. Hold that. Where's that other one? And um, that's probably what I'll do. I'll just sew it down and then gather that over the top after. Okay. Now I've got all these bits and pieces down here which are sort of loosely put. So I'll just. Put them in a pile. Um, I think that was the one I had next. That when that was over the top, we're going to tuck this in on the bottom. Oh, 
like waves. Let's go in there, it's in there. We've even got bits of um it's linen and these little bits so all that can go later. So I'll pause and hop on the sewing machine and just give it a bit of a, a sew back and forth and then we will um, come back and do more embellishing. Okay, we are back. See how I've done, you can probably see on the back, see how I've just gone all skew if and I've even done a line along here and just sort of gone up and back, up and back. You can probably see it a little bit better on there. And I like that it's all scraggly like that and not straight. I'm going to probably um, go on that machine and, and sew that down. But um, I've got this piece here. See, I've just sewn them down. And I sew, make sure that you sew around. See, that little bit's come up there um, around here. And this, you know, that can even go up there. So I'm going to go back. I thought I don't want to sew that on. I might um, come back with some of this. Um, where's my needle? Um, in on there. And rather than couching, I think I might probably do a running stitch. It sounds really funny, but I just sort of want it to be a little bit more 3D. Um, we'll see how we go. Looking rather cute. So I think doing this sort of embellishing and that is the fun part um, I've got other bits and bits and pieces so I'll sort of start it here and already got a fairly thick yeah I think doing a running stitch and just basically holding it down is going to work better because I really don't want to lose that um, the sort of like the texture of it so this is still holding it down but you're not losing whereas if I did a couch it would pull it in so this is gonna be gorgeous I'm definitely making one for myself but I thought well I've got to make one for my, my brother anyway and then pull it tight I don't have to be perfect little stitches, it's going to be quite patchy at the back. Um, so that you don't see the stitches as much. Okay. I like that. This is one piece that you don't mind having all the the little dreggies showing and this was a piece that I think I might have dyed or whatever it was and it um it was really wrinkly like I thought if I ironed it would be all right but I'm not going to iron it I just thought I wanted to leave it as is so it keeps that creased wrinkly look about it okay as you can see, I'm not really taking great care of where it's coming out. Quite patchy. Lighting. Um, if I do couch any, it would probably be down on the end, that last bit. I might have that coming in there, going up.
Ooh. Looks awesome already. And because all you're doing is just putting fabric down and sewing up and back, up and back. And I've got a just a creamy, sort of like a light creamy colour in the sewing machine. I probably could still do that for this as well. And I actually quite like how it's got straggly bits over the edge. I don't want it to be too straight. Okay, I think that works there. And what I might do, I'll just finish that off. And I'm going to use this colour to maybe stitch a bit of colour here and there. Cool. And you just sort of pull and gather. See, I like that. I like the way that it sort of does that. You still see the bird. So I'm probably going to um, maybe stitch a little bit of colour in between, which I think would be nice. Whether it's that one, well, I've got that on the on the thread now, so maybe we'll see. Okay, while I'm here, um, Love this colour, it's really nice. Okay. Couple of little very rough little bites here and there. Just adds a little bit of a gather. I think that looks rather cute. Might grab that and come in through here and do running a stitch in between there and it might even come back in with a uh, either a lighter or a darker color So there we go. So that's probably all I'll do in this video. So I'll come back. Um, Oh, for homework, I'm just going to just add more bits and pieces like, you know, these bits and you gather them in and tuck things under. I'm probably going to have that underneath and have that sticking out. Is that the right way? Um, yeah, I quite like that. And um, that's probably going to go on the bottom. Um... Yeah, 
know, stick a few bits and pieces. I want something darker like that underneath. I like that because they almost look like lifeboat rings. Um, you know, have something like that on the bottom. But that might be gathered up a little bit. Actually, I've got this. I really like that. That's really cute. That might, I might catch down. And I've got a bit of a greeny colour, which I think is rather nice. So, you know, that's going to go there and, and this and all that kind of stuff. So I'll, I like this. That's what I was going to do. I knew I'd left that for there for a reason. I thought I've got to leave it up because I'm going to stick that underneath. I might have to cut it a little closer because I like this. It looks like waves. So you find the most unlikely sources. To, uh, to use Oops. Okay, I can pin there you go and I'll pin that down while I'm here where's my pin cushion um, <laughs> pins flying everywhere um, yeah and so I'm gonna stitch that down I knew that was the next bit so there you go. I like it. Oh, it's really, I love doing sea things. I remember when I was doing scrapbooking, I really enjoyed doing sea pages because they're just so bright and vivid and fun. Um, yeah, I love that. Really like how that looks. And I might go back um, over here and maybe go around this that way because it gives it a bit of a definition but I'll I can do that off camera pick that up Oop, I think that might be sitting up so there we go that'll help hold that down as well and then gives it a little bit of color Cool. Okay, well, I like it. It's looking rather cute. I'll be back. I'll zoom it in just a tad. There you go, you can see that. And um, yeah, I'll be back in the next one. I really like how it's looking so far. And um, I'll, yeah, I'll have those bits and pieces sewn. And then when I come back, I'll do some more of this type of embellishing really like how you can see the little the little stuff in between so okay guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and um you know grab out your bits and pieces and try something this like this for yourself it's really easy just you know getting on the machine and sewing up and down if you don't want to sew on the machine you can hand stitch but so much quicker to just to sew it all down and then hand embellish after okay guys thanks for watching bye